everybody? Jerome Wright here, and once again, you're joining me on my Jerome Wright channel. Um, in this video, I want to be talking about health issues, birth defects, um, ongoing chronic issues that we have from childhood on and into adulthood, and um, other um, more logical explanations for how this is going on in us just from the environments that we are in, the unforeseen dangers and hazardous substances that are around us that we don't even realize that are there and we've been exposed to all of our life. All right. So in this video, I'm going to tell you pretty much, and this applies to me too, because I grew up in this way as well too. So you're going to, you, this is going to resonate with you. And you, and I mean, this is going to be so real because you're going to say, you know what? He's 100% right. All right. Let's take this and let's do something with this. All right. Um, my uncle, um, he passed away now and he used to tell me as a child and, um, and they sit around, you know, tell the folk tales and things like that. He used to say, if you ever go to a strange place or a strange city or strange town, and you wanted to find out where were your people of your own kind or where the ghettos were. He said all you had to do was just follow the railroad tracks in any town. And that railroad track could take you right through the ghetto. You know what I mean? So sure enough, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, as I got older, and that's what I used to actually find. I used to just to see if he was right, just to see if I could prove him wrong. But to this day, <clears throat> excuse me, to this day, he has always been right. Hold on. <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, um, here we go. Here, let me let me let me click on a railroad track here. I grew up in a scenario pretty much like you see here. When there was railroad tracks, my house would be off to the side and I would cross across these railroad tracks every day. This is not where I lived at people, this is a similar scenario. And um, I would play on these railroad tracks. I would pick up stones. I would play with the railroad ties. I would play on the railroad track, play with the nuts and the bolts around the road, everything. You know, this, I mean, this is what children do. Then these railroad tracks run about, I say, any, if I had to guess, maybe about an eight to 10 mile in direction. Cause we have crisscrossing railroad tracks in our way. And our, we have a boulevard that they actually run down about maybe a six or seven mile stretch. And then through the town um, and going in the opposite direction. So there's a cross of these railroad tracks going right through center, pretty much center city of our of our town here in Vineman. All right. And in fact, it almost looks just like this here, to be totally honest with you, because there this would be there's another set of railroad tracks back here going this way. And then there's a set going this way. This is what pretty much what it would look like. This would be the boulevard in our town. And then this would be running along the um the stretch of Paris Street down in our town. So this is a very similar scenario to what our town would look like. Now, it doesn't look like that. Now, this is a country more so town. We can have a, a um, more modern town now, um, thanks to um, development. However, let's pretend that I lived on this stretch. I used to walk a two mile stretch on this, on this, um, on this railroad track. And I would go to a very similar place to like this right here, which is a train trestle right here and you'll see water down there and we would get up on here as a child and you see some folks there doing that i mean it was a similar identical to this even the broken road tracks and everything and we would jump off down into the water and it was a swimming hole which was actually marsh river okay now here you see this would this would be me right here here you see again children playing on the on on on, on railroad tracks that's a scenario that would you would see with me look you see this here this is all me right here playing on railroad tracks look at this these scenarios of playing on railroad tracks all my life this is what i would actually be doing there you see this look at that all right now but you know what the problem is with all of this here you see the little boy coming in direct contact with those railroad tracks there's a problem with this because those railroad tracks people contain a preservative ingredient of, of about 100 or 150 different chemicals, which is called creosol or creosote. All right. These are on the list 
of hazardous materials under in, 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 in um in your um in environmental archives. If you read into this creosote or creosote, it actually is a, it causes skin problems, it causes lung problems. It's a hazardous material that has to be disposed of, not even in your regular landfill. It has to be gotten rid of, almost like in a sense like you would nuclear waste. So this stuff is all through your communities and exposed to children. No warning signs, no nothing. And just like this child is sitting there playing on the railroad tracks, I have did for most of the years of my life. And not only that, Imagine a sweltering sun heat hitting these railroad, these um, not the railroad tracks, but the, the, the railroad ties and the vapors from this emitted matter of this 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 uh, a cocktail chemistry of these hazardous this material getting airborne like in a way that you would like it, it, like pollen would. And you, and your children, you, you're living by this. Your windows are open. You call yourself getting a a a a, a, a a inhale of, of fresh summer air and you're taking in this shit now but hold it it's not just this though people it's not just this because there is something else that this creosote or this creosote appears on hold on let me see if I get some more oh here's here's another image of these children let me let me let me let this get this is me people all my life as a child up into my adulthood, I was playing on railroad tracks, have to cross these railroad tracks, have to walk down these railroad tracks to get from A point A to point B because there was no traffic. It seemed like it would be a safer passage because the trains don't run on these every day like they do in major cities. So for the most part, I mean, a train would come out maybe like once a week or so and it would be on it where you would hear it coming from miles and miles and you know it's coming. So it was not really, I mean, the train was not really an issue. But the main issue was the railroad ties, which is actually contained in ingredient and pesticides. It's called creosote or, uh, or creosote or creosote. It's a it's almost a cancerous causing additive that's in these logs. Now imagine these children coming across here in the winter time. I can't imagine it being that bad, but in the summertime, when the sweltering heat, when these poles. I mean, when these logs are taking and, 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 and letting off vaporized matter, these children coming across, walking down these tracks, you have to inhale this shit. You have to. There's no way around it. And you can even smell that tarry smell. That tar smell. When you go near railroad tracks, that's just what you smell, that tar smell. Now, not just that. They're saying that this stuff goes down into um, your spring water. It goes down into um, into the soil, and once it gets down into the um, the spring water levels, it says it takes years and years and years to get out. So imagine us where people are drinking well water, and it's actually going into your well water and everything else. If you Google this information, people, you will see that I'm right. Now, the only thing is nobody has never addressed this before. Now, here's the next thing about all of this. If you have... Um, um, regular city tap water. This stuff goes down into your sewer drains and all. Now, there's something else about this I'm going to get into because this is not just the only hazard. Now, you got red, railroad tracks. Most of us got railroad tracks in our towns and in our cities. So that is one issue of creosote. The next issue of creosote, which is just as damning, is all of our areas are littered with telephone poles. The same exact scenario. These poles have creosote on them. In our city blocks, each and every one of our blocks, we have anywhere from maybe like from this, a smaller number of six, anywhere to possibly, depending on the size of your block, maybe 10, 20 poles of these poles in your neighborhood. Don't worry about the transformers and all of the wires. People were worrying about the wires. The poles have the creosote on them. And if you go in your and, and you 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 get with me on this, because most of these poles, if you look at them in your neighborhood, what happens with them is that they actually have a puddle substance down to the bottom of them. If you look from in the summer heat from where the creosote runs down the pole, and if you look around the ledges of the pole, you'll see like a tarry substance at the base of the pole and that's what this this stuff is now mind you as a child here's some of these poles here look this is in a storm look at this town imagine this imagine you sleeping in one of these houses 
and the creosote off these poles. Now, these imagine that you have your windows open, not even understanding. Now, you now imagine pollen. What the, the effect that pollen has on your lungs, on your eyes, the allergy effects. Now, imagine this having a cancer-causing effects on you. Do you are you with me, people, on this? Oh, yeah, you're sure you are. Now, my thing is that look at this. This is almost like it's almost like a I don't know like a a thing where it is it like they want this to be happening because why wouldn't an environmentalist or anyone be speaking about this why is it me through my paranormal experience and encounter that I'm bringing this to you I've been exposed to I've been playing on these poles scratching my names on poles People hang signs on poles. Children get around these poles. And there's no labeling on these poles. Here's one that has junk cars. Look at this. People hanging. Look at this town. <laughs> what kills me too is no matter where you go, you see these, these buildings. You know my, my experience. Oh, hold on. What in the hell do I have here? Oh, I hate tapping something else. All right. I see this building back here. I'm always seeing these Greek style buildings and stuff. You know, I stop in my tracks once I see that Greek and Roman style buildings. You know what I mean? Because I, I call them dimensional doorways because they don't have no business in America, but they're here. So I call. But anyway, check this out, people. Look at this. Look at all of the staples in this poll. People come. Your children come there. All your How many times have you came and hugged the pole? I've done it a thousand times as a child. You sit there waiting or leaning on a pole. Your children leaning on these poles and they have this cancer causing effect to them that not only it attacks your lungs and everything. Let me read some of this stuff off because I have these are some of the health problems that, that can be caused. Um, um, long exposure to creosote vapors can, um, can irritate the lungs. Exposures to smaller amounts of creosote over time um, by direct skin contact or by contact with creosote vapors may cause blistering, peeling, or reddening of the skin, damage to the eyes, increased sen and sensitivity to sunlight. <clears throat> Eating food or drinking water with large amounts of creosote may cause burning in the mouth and throat, stomach pains. Accidentally eating large amounts of creosote for a, a short period of time can cause bad skin rash, eye burns, convulsions, kidney and liver problems, unconsciousness, and death. How creosote can affect children. Um, not many studies exist on health effects in creosote and children. Generally, researchers have found that creosote, um, who, um, children who play with creosote contaminated soil tend to get skin rashes, um, um, skin rashes than other children. To get more skin rashes than other children. So, so children that play with it get skin rashes, that, so that they say. All right. Additionally, some studies with laboratory evidence suggest that creosote can, can, um, um, exposure can cause birth defects. That, no, they're saying that this can cause birth de defects um, in, um, that they saw in lab animals. Um, let me see. Such as cleft palate. All right. Cleft palate um, when the roof of the mouth is not fully closed. Um, among babies born to mothers exposed to high levels of creosote during pregnancy. Other studies have shown that creosote may, may cr um, cr um, cr um, cross the placenta getting into the tissues of the fetus. Oh my gosh, this is this is serious, people. This is serious. Now, this these creosote poles are all through your town. How many minutes do I have here? 13. All right, I only got about one more minute. So people, I'm going to put more in writing. But this creosote, this can cause birth defects, and each one of your towns are littered. Now, you go out there and count the poles in your own neighborhood. You probably come up with maybe three or four hundred of these creosote poles, and then the railroad tracks. This exposure, probably in the wintertime, it probably is not such as bad, but just, but in the, in the summertime, could you imagine the heat hitting these poles? Now, this pole is not freshly coated. When these poles are put in the ground, they're freshly coated. Now, there's probably more of this creosote down inside of the pole, but these poles, I think that they're switching them now more so to like another chemical that they put on these poles. But the fact of the matter is that all of these poles, these preservatives that are on these poles are causing a harmful effect to us. You know what I mean? And, and, and me as a child, been exposed to it all my life, all my life. 
See if I can catch another poll here. All my life I've been exposed to it, and now not until me having this paranormal experience and encounter that I actually um, I'm, I'm bringing this to you. I'm gonna put more in writing here, and I'm gonna go from there. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this video there, all right? Because I'm running out of time anyway. How this is going on in us, just from the environments that we are in, the unforeseen dangers and hazardous substances that are around us that we don't even realize that are there and we've been exposed to all of our life all right so in this video i'm going to tell you pretty much and this applies to me too because i grew up in this way as well too so you're going to you, this is going to resonate with you and you and i mean this is everybody jerome right here and once again you're joining me on my jerome right channel um in this video i'm going to be talking about health issues, birth defects, um, ongoing chronic issues that we have from childhood on and into adulthood and um, other um, more logical explanations for where the ghettos were. He said all you had to do was just follow the railroad tracks in any town and that railroad track could take you right through the ghetto. You know what I mean? So sure enough, you know, <coughs> Excuse me, as I got older, and that's what I used to actually find. I used to, just to see if he was right, just to see if I could prove him wrong. But to this day, <clears throat> excuse me, to this day, he has always been right. Hold on. <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, it's going to be surreal because you're going to say, you know what? He's 100% right. All right, let's take this and let's do something with this. All right. Um, my uncle... Um, he passed away now, and he used to tell me as a child, and um, and they sit around, you know, tell the folk tales and things like that. He used to say, if you ever go to a strange place or a strange city or a strange town, and you wanted to find out where were your people of your own kind, um, here we go. Here, let me let me let me click on a railroad track here. I grew up in a scenario pretty much like you see here when there was railroad tracks my house would be off to the side and I would cross across these railroad tracks every day this is not where I lived at people this is a 